And now, holding that great shield before his chest, Telamonian Ajax marched right up to Hector, threatening with his deep, resounding voice. Hector, now you learn, once and for all, in combat man to man, what kind of champions ranged the Argive ranks, even besides Achilles, that lion heart who molds battalions wholesale. Off in his beaked sea-going ships Achilles lies, raging away at Agamemnon, marshal of armies. But here we are, strong enough to engage you, and plenty of us too. Come, lead off if you can, with all your fighting power. A flash of his helmet as rangy Hector shook his head. Ajax, royal son of Telamon, captain of armies, don't toy with me like a puny, weak-kneed boy, or a woman never trained in works of war. War, I know it well, and a butchery of men. Well I know, shift to the left, shift to the right, my tough tanned shield. That's what a real drill, defensive fighting means to me. I know it all, how to charge in the rush of plunging horses. I know how to stand and fight to the finish, twist and lunge in the war god's deadly dance. On guard, big and bluff as you are, I've no desire to hit you sniping in on the sly. I'd strike you out in the open, strike you now. He hurled. His spear's long shadow flew, and it struck Ajax's shield, that awesome seven-layered buckler, right on the eighth, the outside layer of bronze that topped it off. Through six hides it tore, but the seventh stopped the relentless brazen point. But great Ajax next, dear to the gods, he hurled, and his spear's shadow flew, and the shaft hit Hector's round shield, hit full center. Straight through the gleaming hide the heavy weapon drove, ripping down and in through the breastplate finely worked, tearing the war shirt. Close by Hector's flank it jabbed, but the Trojan swerved aside and dodged black death. Both seized their lances, wrenched them from the shields, and went for each other now like lions rending flesh or a pair of wild boars whose power never flags. Hector stabbed at the buckler, full center too. Not smashing through, the brazen point bent back. And Ajax lunged at him, thrusting hard at his shield, and the shaft punched through, rammed him back in his fury, and grazed his neck, and the dark blood gushed forth. But not even then did Hector quit the battle. Backing, helmet flashing, his strong hand hefting a rock from the field, dark, jagged, a ton weight. He hurled it at Ajax, struck the gigantic shield, seven ox hides thick, struck right on the jutting boss, and the bronze clanged, echoing round and round, as Ajax, hoisting a boulder, far larger, wheeled and heaved it, putting his weight behind it, tremendous force. And the rock crashed home. Hector's shield burst in, hit by a millstone, and Hector's fine knees buckled, flat on his back he went, his shield crushing down on him swept him off his feet. But Apollo quickly pulled him up, and now they would have closed with swords, hacked each other if heralds of Zeus and men had not come rushing in, one from the Trojans, one from the armed Achaeans. Taltibius and Idaeus both with good, clear heads. Parting them, holding their staffs between both men, the herald Idaeus, cool, skilled in tactics, urged, No more, my sons, don't kill yourselves in combat. Zeus, who marshals the storm cloud, loves you both. You are both great fighters, we all know that full well. The night comes on at last, best to yield tonight. But the giant Ajax answered briskly, Wait, Idaeus, tell Hector here to call the truce. Mad for a fight, he challenged all our bravest. Let him lead off, I'll take his lead, you will see. His helmet flashed as Hector nodded. Yes, Ajax, 
Since God has given you power, build, and sense, and you are the strongest spearman of Achaia, let us break off this dueling to the death, at least for today. We will fight again tomorrow, until some fatal power decides between our armies, handing victory down to one side or another. Look, the night comes at last. Best to yield to night. So you will bring some joy to Achaia's forces camped beside their ships, and most of all to your own troops, the comrades you command. But I will go back to the great city of King Priam, and bring some joy to the men of Troy, and Trojan women trailing their long robes. Thankful for my return, they will go to meet the gods and sing their praises. Come, let us give each other gifts, unforgettable gifts. So any man may say, Trojan soldier or Argive, first they fought with heart-devouring hatred, then they parted, bound by pacts of friendship.